Alright, welcome back guys, this is Ronyan, and things are starting to feel pretty serious in this interloper run. I just made it to the barn, and my condition is under 30%. It's just uh, attacked by a wolf that was out on the uh, ice river. And we uh, wounded each other. I killed him, but he took a, lot of a chunk out of my condition, so... We're about to go kind of test the waters and just look out here and see what's going on. I'm not comfortable moving very much distance at all with this condition, but I sure would like to get the uh, meat off of that deer that I killed. Or that... It was a deer car... I, I didn't kill it, the uh, wolf killed it, and then I chased the wolf off, off, and then I encountered another wolf on the river. But yeah, I sure would uh, like to get back to that deer whenever possible. But I'm going to be very cautious about uh, any wolves hanging around. I'm going to keep my eyes open. Don't want this run to end this soon, so... Would like to make at least 30 days. Right now we're on day 29. And it's three degrees outside. I can't really afford any condition loss whatsoever, so I can't... I'm not sure I can afford to harvest this limb. I'm just playing around with this to see if I can get a windbreak on this uh, the side of this trail here. It doesn't seem very uh, easy to do. Could be because there's just not that much wind right now. So it feels like a legitimate three degrees out here. Probably because, probably because the air temperature is actually quite close to that when you factor in my clothing. Got most of the day remaining, but it is pretty foggy out here. And I'm already getting pretty cold, so I need to head back into the barn. Looks like it may even be getting colder out here. There, no. Okay, so the wind is making a four degree difference right now. I just saw it flash from four to eight degrees. There's a wolf back in that direction. I'll stay steer clear of that. Well, if I want to, I can pass time in the truck or sleep in the truck. Yeah, I could stand to sleep two or three hours, looks like. I'll go ahead and just do one hour and see where that puts me. It won't gain me more than a percent of condition, though. That's the problem with sleeping that short of a time. Sleeping in consecutive hours is much works much better than sleeping one hour. You don't just get the cumulative benefit of every hour. You get an extra bonus for staying asleep. Okay, so the weather is pretty clear right now. No more fog going on. Which is some good news, so the visibility is actually really good right now. But it is even colder at this point. So it's getting colder throughout the day today. It's minus five, feels like. And uh, you won't see that very often at the beginning of a game, when there's no wind going on. So we have definitely seen a sharp drop in the temperatures during this playthrough. Kind of taking stock of my tools here. I'm pretty heavy, so I want to drop a few things. Just kind of make it easier to uh, harvest some meat off of this deer that I'm going to go get. Yeah, so pretty lightweight now. Not, not as light as I would like to be, but... Actually, I 
looks like I need to already go back into the barn again. Sort of glad I don't think the uh, drop in temperatures affects the interior locations. If it did that, it would be a really damaging thing, and it would be really hard to survive. Because you need basically a perpetual fire going. Kind of just taking stock of these books and dropping what I can. Really like to get under that 66 pounds. Well, drop some of these T's. Drop one of each. 0.07 away. Let's drop the tender. And now we're under 66 pounds, so we have full movement speed until I pick up some of the uh, stuff from the deer carcass, that is. So let's, uh, let's eat, and then we'll go outside. And by eating, I'm also dropping some weight. Well, no, we can... We actually have daylight. We can sleep. We can sleep a couple hours here, or just one hour if we want to. Forgot I still need to warm up. So let's get outside and see what it looks like. I don't want to encounter a wolf. That would be a very bad thing. It would probably end this run immediately. If or shortly thereafter. Yeah, pretty stiff uh, wind blowing now, actually. So it's the feels like temperature has gone down some, though not not very much. Across back across this river, right on the other side of this, is where that deer carcass is. That'd be good if I could get up there and uh, see if I can't harvest a small amount off of it, anyways. Need to get a fire going next to it, I think. Okay. Kind of just messing around trying to find a spot where there's a windbreak. Probably under this bridge, yeah. But it's not actually a huge benefit, it only goes up to 11 degrees. It's some benefit, but not huge. Okay, I found the wolf body. Yeah, this should be the one that I hit in the head earlier. The one that also uh, did the damage to me. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna harvest him first. See, it looks like he might be in a better position for uh, staying out of the wind here. Got a seventy percent, seventy-five percent chance to get this. Let's hope it works. the fire isn't getting any effect from the wind here. It looks like it should be blocked based on where that rock is. Alright, well, let's pick that back up and put it out. We got the fire starting level 3 skill. Great. And we'll put some sticks on here. The problem may be that I may not be able to get this up to temperature. Oh, it looks like the wind changed direction and blew it out. Ah. Yeah, I'm trying to cheat a little bit here and see if it'll let me add more fuel to it. It's not going to do it though. 
not gonna let me fight at that time. Okay guys, this is uh, not good. I'm freezing or about, and I need to get back to the barn immediately. So I have to be careful I don't trigger a wolf through here somewhere. But yeah, this is dangerous now. Um, this run has seemingly gotten a lot harder. I don't I can't predict how long I'm gonna make it. Maybe I can pull through this episode, maybe not. But I'm kinda required to sleep here to recover condition. I don't know what else to do. We got enough calories. Just checking my hypothermia risk real quickly there to see how much I had. Sleep two hours this time. This should warm me all the way back up, I hope. It gave me a little boost in condition also. And we're gonna go ahead and sleep one more hour. And we'll go back to those carcasses and see if we can do anything else with them. Dangerous times here, but I've survived worse than this. Wow, the wind chill is really bad right now. It's like my, it's like 30 degrees of wind chill. So I'm dropping from five to minus 24. And my clothes will get wet pretty quickly out here also with the snow. Hopefully it's not going to go into a blizzard sh shortly, but that might happen. Nah, this is really uh, not a good situation for trying to start a fire. Much safer to hunker down into the barn. I can afford to do that because I have some calories here. The only thing that will, would become a problem is the cabin fever risk. Let's go ahead and break down some of this, uh, one of these crates to get some reclaimed wood to build a fire with. So that warmed me up. The only problem is there is now a blizzard outside, it seems like. I can hear the wind roaring out there. So yeah, conditions outside are very poor. No, actually, I'm just gonna run around breaking down these crates for now. Just making sure I have plenty of reclaimed wood. Because I may need to raise the temperature outside pretty quickly to be above freezing when I start a fire, and I can't do that with coal. So let's sleep two more hours. I don't know how far into the night I am, but I'd like to get out of that pretty quick. So 34% condition. We're hovering at a pretty low level here. I'm just ate the last of my meat. So we're not in the best position at this point. We need some of that meat off the deer outside. craft a torch here. I'm gonna have to drop this torch because it's much too low in condition to start a fire with. So let's light up one of the new ones and get, the, get a fire going. A 
85% chance is usually pretty close to a guarantee. I mean, by definition, it still fails about one out of seven times, so keep that in mind. Come on, fire. Yeah, about 90%. And we got it. Now let's add some fuel to it. Stop lighting matches and pull out the fuel, please. Alright. And we're in pretty good shape with this far. We'll just, we're just going to melt plenty of water here. Mainly what I'm doing is just burning time to get out of the blizzard right now. Looks like I just got out of it, so that's good news. I'll take us an hour and a half or two hours, maybe. Maybe an hour and a half to burn, uh, to melt that, to boil that water. So drink up, brother. And then we will head outside. Hopefully you can survive. I don't know how confident I am in this run right now. I mean, I'm kind of in Pleasant Valley, which isn't an ideal spot. I probably should have come a little better prepared for this. But I had bad luck also with the wolf, which was hurt, hurt me. Largely, how good the weather is from here on is going to be a pretty big factor on my survivability chances. And I'm going to pass some time here, and then we're going to call it an episode, guys. If you like the channel, please uh, comment and subscribe. Leave me a like on the videos, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.